Hey guys, welcome back to Darling Lemons. My name is Monica. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this nice card case. It's a really beginner friendly project and it make a nice gift for anybody who has cards they'd like to keep in a safe place. So let's get started. <laughs> So here I've already cut out my fabric. This piece measures 11.5 centimeters by 27 centimeters, and that is all the fabric that we need for this project. So as you can see, I folded my piece right sides together, and that is exactly how I'm going to sew it down. As you can see, this part is folded, and the two ends meet right here. So I'm going to go ahead and sew along that entire edge. Again, this is a really, really simple project. It's quick it's easy it's inexpensive because you don't need a lot of fabric you don't need a lot of thread so i really like this project all right so this is what that looks like once you're done you're going to go ahead and open it and you're going to do your best to center that seam it really has to be in the middle and once you find that it is you can go ahead and open that seam and you're going to want to press it down very well so once you do that, you can come back. As you can see, the seam has been pressed down nicely. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it around and I'm going to sew along that entire edge. Believe it or not, once you've done this, we'll be about halfway done. Like I said, it goes by really quickly and you'll be able to have that gratifying result pretty soon. Okay, so that part is done looking nice we're going to turn it around again and we're going to go ahead and sew on the other side as well but not until the end this time we're going to stop a little bit after that center seam not quite halfway down but a little before and i'll show you guys what that looks like so it's a little more clear don't forget to back stitch it's really important so that uh, it stays nice and secure as you can see i've passed the center seam and that's about where I stopped so the other side is fully done so as you can see we've created a sort of pocket that opens up quite nicely and there's a little hole from the part that we didn't sew so we're gonna go ahead and use that hole to turn our work inside out so as you can see I'm opening it up putting my fingers through and pushing the fabric all the way out pulling it out slowly you're gonna have to work with it until you get it all out and once that's done, you can go ahead and use a knitting needle or a sharply pointed object to go ahead and point out those edges. You want to make sure they're nice and sharp. So go ahead and poke them out as much as you can. Like I'm doing here, I've done already two. That's the third one. The fourth one, you won't be able to do that because it's still open, clearly. But you're going to go ahead and tuck in that seam as much as you can. Make sure all those little threads that are sticking out go inside so they're not bothering you and that edge we're just going to go ahead and sew it uh, with the machine so we'll sew it down just like this along that little edge so that it's nice and closed and once you've done this I mean you can say you're basically done the only thing left is to set it into place and to iron it out so I'm going to show you guys what that looks like right here you can see here the edge is nice and sewed down it's closed I've ironed it out already so you can see it's looking um, crispy and I'm gonna go ahead and open it now so opening it up and pushing in one side all the way into the other just like this and that's basically it you can go ahead and and iron it out just a little more make sure that those ends are are nice and flat but other than that, go ahead and admire your work, your hard work, because you took the time, you took the energy to make this. And especially if it's a gift for somebody else, that's that's so special. Uh, something that's handmade. So you can see all the uh, inside here, the outside. It's, it's a very nice gift. All right, so that's enough talking for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you. It gives you ideas to create other things and to just so overall that's that's the goal to sew and to have fun don't forget to like this video if you did and subscribe if you haven't already um, that way you won't miss any of my future videos and projects thanks again